let's have a look at this example using Euler's improved method. Take a moment just to read the question. So key elements are we've got our differential equation, we've got our point that we know and we are using a step length of 0 0.1. We're going up x starts at 0 so this will take three steps to get up to uh, our end point. Okay, so what do we know? To start off with, for our initial point, our 0, x is 0, and y is 1. So this is at the start of our first step. We want to find the gradient, so the uh, gradient x times y is 0 plus y squared, the gradient is 1. So that's the gradient at the start of the first step. What about the end of the first step? Well, we need to find our y value at the end. Our step 0.1, so we know our x value. And so we use Euler's method. To find um, the next y value. So simply the gradient times the step length, 0.1 add on to our initial y value. So what's our gradient at the end of the first step? So that's going to be uh, x times y plus y squared and that is 1.32. So this isn't our new x and y value, this is our false y value. So our next step is to find that. So uh, we need to find k1 plus k2 over 2. So k1 is going to be the step length times the gradient. So that's 0 0.1. And k2 is going to be the step length times the second gradient. So it's that divided by 2 gives us, uh, so and then we add on our initial y value. So that's going to give us 1.116 and the x value is 0.1. So there we've got our x and y value after the first tree step. Okay, so we now see this point as at the start of our second step. So we want the gradient at this point. So it's going to be xy plus y squared. And that gives us 1.357. We now want the y ordinate at the end of the second step. So we're going to use Euler's method to find that. So it's going to be this value of y plus the step length times the gradient. And that is going to give us a value of 1.2517. Add on the step length. So this isn't our value at the end of the step. But it means we can calculate the gradient at the end of the step. So our gradient here is going to be x times y plus y squared. It's going to give us 1.8171. Now we've got the gradient at the start and the end. We can work out the average uh, vertical increase. So it's going to be 0.1 times the gradient there. Add on the step length times the gradient there. And then divide by 2. So this is the average increase in height. And we add that on to the y value at the start of the step. So that's going to be 1.274.
and so x value. So this is our true value at the end of the second step. So now we consider this the um, point at the start of the third step. And so we need to find our gradient first of all, xy times y squared gives us a value of 1.8798. Use Euler's method to find the uh, y value at the end of this step. So it's going to be 1.247274 plus 0.1 times that, which is going to give us a value of 1.46. 3, it's rounded, so x value, so this is our false uh, point at 0 0.3, so we now need to find the gradient at the end, so that's uh, xy times y squared, that's 2.578. And so uh, we're ready now to calculate our true y ordinate when x is 0.3. So it's our k1 plus k2 over 2. So step length times this. Step length times that gradient. So that gives us a vertical increase added on to y value at the start that's going to give us 1.4976 x ordinate is 0.3 and that's our true value so f of 0 0.3 is approximately equal to 0.4976 